Girls and welcome to my GBA Team Builder for week 11. We are facing Oldman Tub and the Pittsburgh Paralytas. This is the um, basically a rematch of our uh, clash in the first, uh, second season, second week, I think. Yeah, I think we faced Tub in the second week and this is a very important match. This, if we win this, we are set for playoffs. Like all the, it doesn't matter how the other play. If we win this, we will be in the playoffs for sure. And and the second uh, thing why this game is important is because we have our bet going with Tub, which is. Whoever loses in the overall differential between us two, like for example, I'm at mode 3 overhead. If you would for oh no, he would win. Basically, the loser has to upload the shoulder life with a petty mayonnaise uh, costume, like a blonde wig and a blue dress and stuff like that. So uh, there is much more on the line than just this win for the uh, division and for the safe player spot. Uh, Tub is basically eliminated, but I expect him to uh, be motivated and be bring his best for this match just because of this bet. So I have to be prepared for him. I don't think Tub is, not, Tub is not the character to get demotivated just because he missed the player spot, and this bet will just will bring the most out of him for this match. But yeah, like I said, if I win this, I will be in the show of the player, so I'm, and because of the bet, I'm definitely motivated too to win this, and yeah. Basically, what uh, Tub's squad for this week is, uh, I can go over now. First up, we got Excadrill, Celebi, Arcanine, Machamp, Jellicent, Amber Palm, Thundress, Incarnate, Curum, Golbat, Archeops, and Mega Taranta. And the first thing you see, of course, is the Sand Offense Core, which he brought last time in, in, in the form of Excadrill and Mega Taranta. He got the one of the best fast electric types in Thunderous and Kyanite with the pranks that he wave. It can be very annoying and of course strong stab in, in, in Thunderbolt and Volt Switch, which my team struggles a bit. He has the Jellicent, which is a pain to take down. It was always for my team and will always be. And then he has some other friends out on there, like the Arcanine, like the Machamp, like the Amber Palm, like the Celebi. Amber Palm can just straight outspeed my whole team by my Crobat. Uh, Machamp hits super hard with uh, Dynamic Punch shenanigans and if I get confused and stuff, I don't want to deal with that, I don't want to deal with Machamp, if I see it, it will be, it may get a problem. But yeah, the Kyurem, um, Kyurem, I don't think he will bring, he didn't brought Kyurem last time because uh, I have an Azumar which pretty much stops it, like I'm uh, resist, or I'm immune to both his stabs and can just stay to kill it with a play rough, so, and if I'm Assault, this can even take his coverage move like Earth Power, Flash Cannon, stuff like that. So I don't think he will bring Qum. I expect to bring the Mega Tyranitar and the Extra Drill again because it forces me to bring a defensive tank growth like last time and that opens up the door for Thunderous, which because I can't run and Assault this uh, 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 tank growth, so I had to be creative. Last time I brought a, uh, Assault the Sand Slash to deal with that thing, or at least get enough damage on it to deal with it. So, uh, but I don't have Sand Slash anymore, so I have to think of something else. And yeah, Jellicent, I was able to pursue trap let Jellicent last time and he decided uh, that was because he decided not to put Coalberry on it, so this time he will definitely bring Coalberry Jellicent. That means that my pursuit won't kill it, even if he switches out, that means that knock two knockers won't kill it, because after the Coalberry he does has no item, and if he's fully easy defensive, two knockers won't be able to kill it, so... And it basically was, it was many, majority of me, which is my, uh... His, uh no, wait, it was Uber, he, not, he can't take, but... Um, what, what, what to say? Cobalion, yeah. He, he uh, balls my Cobalion, which is like my best check to uh, to the uh, Tyranitar, so it's 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 a sketchy matchup. I think I can pull through, I pull through already versus him, but yeah, depending... It, it may get a scary match depending on what he brings and how he plays and stuff like that. But yeah, this is enough for his squad. Uh, let's go over my squad. So first up, if you see here on Showdown, we got Mega Emo, the Mega Absol with Knockoff, Sucker Punch, Pursuit and Superpower. Basically, this is the exact same uh, Egg Absol I brought last time. Uh, Triple Dark Stab, Knockoff as Main Stab, Sucker Punch as Priority, of course, and Pursuit to Pursuit Trap his Celebi, his Jellicent. It's just, this is team, I want to Pursuit Trap again, Jellicent. If I can, I can get a massive amount of damage off him. If he that is not offensive, he can KO me because Jellicent is not that strong. And Super Power, of course, therefore the Tyranitar, which resists all my Dark Stab moves. He won't, uh, Knockoff won't do anything because he's a Mega, of course, and resisted. Sucker Punch, he can't Drag Dance on me, Pursuit Trap will do nothing. I have, I need to have something to scare the uh, Tyranitar right away, so he can't just set up on me, and that's why I have Super Power here. With enough speed to outspeed uh, Max Speed Celebi, because I don't want to play Speed Tide Shenanigans with the uh, Amber Pump, so I don't have to go for Sucker Punch, stuff like that. I basically, oh, I have to go for Sucker Punch and know that. You know, I, I, basically, I know that I've lost so on this, so uh, I don't get uh, tempted to play some. Um, speed tie games with it, and I'd rather have some more bulk so I can live, um, make more fake outs from MFM and stuff like that. But yeah, this is Mega Emo. Next up, we got my thing to deal with Thunderous this time, which is an Assault, that's his max special for Dragon with Dragon Tail, Crunch, Rock Slide, Sucker Punch. This time, Doth Ruskin, it's Sheer Force, so that my Crunch and Rock Slides do more damage. 
And yeah, this is my answer to the Thunderous. Because uh, Thunderous is just too much of a threat to my team if I don't have uh, an Assault this uh, Tangle Roof. Because uh, HP is Thunderbolt and that's basically all you need. HP is Thunderbolt. If you set something nasty blood, I'm basically... This, depending on how weak man stuff is, it gets very scary. Like, you could just slash uh, Taunt or Thunder Wave stuff like this, so my walls can't really deal with it. So yeah, this thing is here. Uh, HP is from a life of one does uh, 20 to 30 percent. So I can take this, his hits his, his, his very, no wait, 30 to 40 percent, yeah. So I can take three HP Ices and one Rock Slide plus one Crunch is an, uh, one Rock Slide plus one Sucker Punch is enough to KO with the Sheer Force Boost. So yeah, that's what this thing for. It's my, basically my answer to everything specially offensive he has, which is mainly the Thunderous. I don't really expect him to bring a special Celebi, but if so, this thing can deal with it too with a Crunch. I was thinking about putting a Thunder Punch over Crunch, so I don't have, uh, double dark step and I can still hit the Jellicent but he I'd rather burn the Cola Berry so my Absol can kill it with a with pursuit or something like that and I can hit the Celebi too which this thing may uh, get into to wallet. It can take it from Jellicent too. Of course the Scaldman would be very uh, very unfortunate because I only, uh, only have physical attacks but yeah we can even chew uh, Ice Beam from the Alpha Purum if we are on full and yeah basically retaliate back with Dragon Tail or Rock Slide or Sucker Punch whatever we feel like it. I don't actually don't have super power on this. I was thinking about putting super power, but I have stuff to deal with Mega Tyranitar, and I'd rather have this to deal with the special offense of uh, Top. So yeah, Thunder Celebi, if Celebi is special, and Jellicent, uh, kind of, if it doesn't get a Skull Burn, which is sketchy, and it is surprised with the secure room in case he thinks he can KO me with an Ice Beam. Draco would still kill me, but not an Ice Beam. <laughs> Next up, we got uh, Spätzle with Rocky Helmet, Giga Drain, Knock Off, Toxic, and Knock Off, uh, physically, physically defensive set again. This is my check to his Sand Offense, especially Excadrill. Drill. Even Excadrill Excel won't do much to me, and I can Rocky Helmet damage on him. Uh, a mixed heater could be scary with uh, Fire Blast or Ice Beam. I have to play around it, but I have stuff for uh, Tyranta still. More offensive checks than defensive checks, but because if it's mixed, it's getting scary. I can still take a Fire Blast from full and stuff like that, and we tail it back with a good range stuff uh, and yeah, shenanigans, but it won't KO him. It may get scary if he brings that. Uh, uh, Giga Rain, of course, is main step. Earthquake is there to hit the extra drill as hard as possible, and it hits to the some other stuff, like the Arcanine, which likes to switch in, or the Mega Tyranitar, which are, in case it switches in on something, especially a knockoff or something like that. Then I have Toxic for the uh, mainly Arcanine, because if it brings the bulky Arcanine, Earthquake won't do too much, and if I can wear it on with Toxic, it would be lovely, because Arcanine is kind of. My team kind of struggles with Arcanine, like Tangro. Tang it's a free switch to Tangro, because Earthquake won't do much with Intimidate, and. Yeah, he can just run shop with on my team because I would have to switch out with Tangro. Uh, even if I'm physically defensive, Fabs will do way too much if he's offensive. So I will have to switch out and uh, rather wear it down then with uh, life, with recall and toxic stuff like that. And as last knockoff to hit, basically knock just in general knockoff items. I can burn the Cold Bay on Jellison. I can knock off the Selby, burn the Cold Bay too if he has it, and just get rid of the Eviolite on Crobat and. Knockoff is just we and Gen 6, we use knockoff here. <laughs> but yeah, that's Spetzer for you. Next up, I got I decided to bring a Zoomal and I bring a Choice Bandit variant with Player of Waterfall, Knockoff, and Aqua Jet. Uh, enough uh, speed to outspeed the Jellicent. And the other attacks is just basic coverage to hit everything on his team. He has nothing which wants to switch into the thing. A combination of Player of or, or Waterfall. Everything is KO'd. Exodil does not does not like a, a, a Waterfall. Celebi does not like a Knockoff of Player Rough. Machamp does not like a Player Rough. Arcanine does not like a Waterfall. Uh, Everpump does like nothing in general. Jason does not like Knockoff or Player Rough. Thunderous does not like Player Rough or Waterfall. Hero does not like a Player Rough. Goldberg does not like uh, a Waterfall. And Archeops does not like a Waterfall. Tyrant does not like a Waterfall. Or even a Player Rough. So he will have to break the round to saying every time these things come in, it gets scary for him. I can just click the Choice Better Player Rough or Waterfall button and basically kill something or get a huge amount of damage off. And the Arcanine priority is very nice in case I lose my uh, Tangrove and I can range kill the extra drill, the Tyrant if it goes for DDs, the Arceus because it's fast, uh, the fun. In general, this is very nice, uh, very nice um, priority for his team. And uh, I expect this thing to put in the work. A choice made is Rumel. I I'm using this thing not as much as my other mods, and I'm kind of feel sad because Rumel is just such a great mod in general. And yeah, even with a choice band, it still checks the, uh, the uh, what you call it, the Kyum. Not as good as the uh, Saltus' one, of course, but I can still take Drakus, of course. I can still take Ice Beams and scared out of a player and stuff like that. And aside for power over being safe, because I don't, honestly, I don't think he will bring Kyum, but if he brings it, this is still a check to it. Kind of, at least. It will be. <laughs> but yeah, next up we have Mr. Man with the Archie Berry Max Speed Max Attack with Earthquake, Rockside, Huge, and Stealth Rock. I need a Stealth Rock with this team. This was the only thing I wanted to put it on because Stratagon has an assault as I can't give it uh, Stealth Rocks. And basically, um, first of all, I had a mix set with Earth Power and, and Psychic and U Turn. U Turn for Celebi, Psychic for the Crobat, and Earthquake for uh, Earth Power and just a general step. But I thought, 
With Hiyachi Baby, I can take the HP Ice, I can maybe surprise Revenge Kill the Thunderous, so I probably want Rock Slide. It hits the Trover too, so why not put Rock Slide in there? And then I have Earth Power, Rock Slide, and U Turn, and then I Kalk, and Rock Slide is not a guaranteed KO on uh, on uh, Le uh, Thunderous if I don't have a Life Orb. And then I thought, why why not just bring a physically offensive one? Then the U Turn will do more, Rock Slide will do more, and Earthquake will do, uh, of course, less than Earth Power, but it will still do enough to his team, and with enough speed to outspeed uh, Celebi, of course, U Turn will do a massive amount of Celebi because of uh, Quad Weakness and a physically offensive. And basically my plan with Landorus is just to straight leave it to either get Rocks up, because his, uh, yeah, either either get Rockers because if he is forced to uh, Rapid Spin with uh, Excadra, I can roughly get Rocky Helmet damage on him, it's get Life Orb damage on him as it's Life Orb, and I can go for on from there with Tangro, go for Toxic on the Arcanine and stuff like that. Or, if he decides to leave the Thunderous and he will go for HP Ice, just trade out kill with a Rock Slide, because I can take the HP Ice with the Archibir. I can take any hit from this in general, like HP Ice would still be the strongest hit. Maybe he over predicts thinking I would switch out, because obviously the matchup is not good, he has obviously had HP Ice and is faster than me. But yeah, I can say straight KO with a Rock Slide then, and... Yeah, that's the plan. This is the plan with Mr. Man. If I lead up with a threat, he will have to, yeah, he will have to pray basically because he has no switch into the thing in general. Like this is this is the theme of Mr. Man this season. No one has switches to Mr. Man, and that's why it's awesome. And that's why I bring him. And my plan is to lead with him to either get rocks up or kill the Thunderous because I can take any hit from anything. And even if I'm low lower, I can still outspeed many stuff and do use the thing as a kind of wall breaker. And as last, we got Sasha, the life of Del Fox, the fire dust, Sasha, grass nut, and low kick. This thing is there to just put a, a huge hurt on the team. Uh, the low kick is mere for fancy reasons because Grassnut is a 2 hit KO on Mega Tyranitar, but if he maybe thinks he can switch to Tyranitar on the Fire Blast or Psyshock, low kick does about 80%, and after Fire Blast and Stealth Rocks, low kick is a, is a KO on uh, on a standard Mega Tyranitar. So that's why I said it will do 80 to 70%. If it's offensive, if it's fully physically defensive, which uh, I honestly doubt he would bring, but if he brings the Tyranitar, I think it would be offensive. It will do less, of course, but it's still a huge hit, and Dressnot would only be 2 hit KO, and if he's special defensive with the sand up, blah blah blah, shenanigans, low kick is just there to just do a surprise him a bit and catch him off guard and get a huge hit off on Tyranitar. He thought he could live, like, he could live a Dazzling Gleam or Grassnot or something like that. But yeah, Fire Blast is main step, Psyshock is secondary step, and Dressnot for the Jellicent. If Jellicent is physically defensive, um, physically defensive, Grassnot is a 2 hit KO. If he's specially offensive, Grassnot plus Psyshock is a 2 hit KO. So Jellicent can't really switch on this thing. Fire Blast, of course, is there for the extra drill, for the Celery. Basically, the roast everything which is not resisted. Uh, Psyshock has a 2 hit on the physical side. Grass not as 2 hit K on, uh, like I said, on the Jellicent and hit other stuff like the Tyranitar on the switch in if he should go, decide to go for that and low kick is there for the surprise. And I would love to go for a low kick on the Tyranitar and see how much damage it does, but we will see, we will see if it works out. Like maybe I just killed with Grass not and it was like kind of more than a, than, a, than a gimmick than something that actually works, but we will see. I'm, I trust the Fox on this, like even with 69 attack, it's it's the best attacks that you can have in the game basically. And with this little investment, there's like so much damage to a teacher because it's just so heavy. And I thought, yeah, why not? Why not bring Loki Del Fox? That's that's basically more the reason. Like, uh, it may not work, but if it works, it will be glorious, and that's what I'm going for here. But yeah, this is my full team. You can be excited for the match tomorrow, and yeah, that's basically all I can say. If you like the result, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Definitely hit up top. The link will be in the description, so you can see his team, uh, his team build if he does one, or his side of the battle in general. And yeah, Top is a great guy, and yeah, if he loses, he will do, will have to do the petty He's uh clip on Shadowrun, so definitely uh, subscribe to him for that and wait for that. My plan is to win this and force him to do that and clinch my playoff spot. But yeah, this is all for this video. I will see you next time. Ciao.